Welcome to Latin per Diem. Let's continue in our examination of Tertullian's De Patientia. Ita miseramus ego semper aiger coloribus in patientiae, quam non obtineo patientiae sanitatem, et suspirem et invocem et perorem necessa est, cum recordor et in mei imbecilitatis contemplatione digero bonam fidei valetudinem et dominicae disciplinae sanitatem non facile quiquam nisi patientia ad sideat provenire. Here Tertullian continues the description of himself using this superlative adjective miseramus, which modifies our subject ego, Thus I am very wretched, semper, always, in my illness, Iger. And how is he ill or sick? Well, by this ablative of means, calorbus. Calor, caloris is the third declension noun. And it means heat. It's a very vivid word used to, to describe the condition of his impatientia, his impatience. Thus I am always very wretched in my illness with the heat or the swelling the tides of impatience, as, or how, I do not have non obtineo, I have not come to possess, obtineo, which can also be spelled obtineo, is a compound of ob and teneo. Teneo means to grasp with the hand, and sometimes it can have a meaning of to consider or contemplate, but here the meaning is quite physical. When ab is added to it, it describes the beginning of this activity. Since I have not come to possess, non obtineo, the health sanitatem of patience. So he continues developing this medical metaphor. And, necessa est, here's our next verb, it is necessary for me to gasp after it, suspirem, and to call out for it, invocem, and to pray for it, perorem. Each of these three subjunctives in the present indicative, I'm, I'm sorry, the present uh, active, each of these present active subjunctives is first person singular dependent upon est. And of course, each of these verbs describes the condition of a sick man seeking to get better. We'll look at the remainder of the sentence next time. Please join us.